Kids are really interested in bodily functions, especially the ones that are way gross. So what do you do when your kid asks you, What makes people thought? <laughs> We've brought in an expert to help us answer this very serious question. Enzo, how are you? This episode of The Lab is brought to you by Baby Bjorn. Great baby gear, Baby Bjorn. I am pleased to be joined today by Enzo of Enzoology.com, a great website where Enzo talks about science and conservation and animals. I think I hear the chicken that you brought clucking in the background. And so we're excited to have him. Go on over to Enzoology.com and check out some of his stuff. It's great. I've got a question for you that I need your expert advice on. My son, who's six, thinks that uh, passing gas is really funny. Hey, party. Yeah, yeah, the F word. Uh. I, don't, I don't like to say that. It makes me nervous and embarrassed. Why does he think it's funny? Well, it makes a goofy sound. It stinks, and it comes out of your butt. So when, when my son asked me about it, what should I tell him? I'm a little embarrassed talking about it, you know? What do if I, I try the science of farting, it's caused by bacteria in your intestines. So when my kid asks about it, I'm going to tell him the science behind passing gas. What are they made of? Uh, carbon dioxide, methane, hydrogen, nitrogen. Wow, that's a lot of gases. How fast are they? <laughs> they have been clocked at like 10 feet per second. 10 feet per, that's moving, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay, how hot are they? 98 point. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes oh, wait. sense. Correction, fart night. <laughs> what animal does it the most? I would have to say termites because they actually, I mean, yeah, they're puny, but they live in these massive colonies. Really? Termite? I mean, they all do it at the same time? Like a mass gas pass. <laughs> you brought some animals. Let's uh, let's check out some animals and, and kind of okay. you tell us about their uh, okay. behaviors in the gastrointestinal area. I hear your chicken clucking now. <laughs> okay, so you mean dogs and cats break wind? Yes, they do. This cute little thing? Yes. He's so cute. He's really gonna make a stinker? I can blame it on yeah, my dog? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Nice. You know, you're in a bad spot right now, my friend. <laughs> so Enzo, you mean this snake passes gas? Yes. How often does this snake eat? Twice a week, like two mice a week. What, what's his name? Strangles. How big will this guy get? Five feet. Now, this is a ball python, and the record for the longest living ball python is 47 years. Okay, Enzo, dogs and cats toot, snakes toot. How about this chicken? <laughs> nope, no birds at all. Fun. No? They don't have the right kind of bacteria in their intestines to produce gas. Birds don't pass gas? Just 100% Fart free. 100% fart free. That'd be a great advertisement. For a 100% fart free pet, get a chicken. Well, that's all for this edition of The Lab. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Baby Bjorn, great baby gear, Baby Bjorn. Also, I would like to thank Enzo, our expert today. Go on over to enzoology.com and check out some of his stuff. Science, conservation, animals, all kind of things like that, enzoology.com. And if you have got a good tip about how to talk to your kids about gross things, kind of unmentionable things, like maybe burping, which you just did, go to dadlabs.com and join our conversation. We'd love to hear from you. And you can also pick up one of these nifty dadlabs.com t-shirts. What do you think about that? You got your enzoology, dadlife.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week on The Lab.